Good morning to you. Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for the 8th of July, 2013. To start the week off, we have newly designated Tropical Storm Chantal out in the tropical Atlantic. Notice where it's located, sitting out here in the deep tropics, something very unusual for this time of year. The 8 a.m. advisory, the intermediate advisory, indicating winds are still at 40 miles per hour, pressure 1,007 millibars, and it's moving pretty briskly off to the west at 26 miles per hour. Looking at the five-day forecast track for Chantal, you notice, as I'm sure a lot of people are aware, that it is headed towards and eventually through the Lesser Antilles here. This is the island of Barbados. That area could be impacted as the storm moves very quickly off to the west-northwest, probably going to be well to the south of the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, but then a pretty significant impact to Hispaniola and eastern Cuba. Not so much from wind, we're not talking about a powerful hurricane, but any rainfall over this area is to be of concern because of the nature of the terrain in the area, especially in Haiti where mudslides, flash flooding can be an issue from these tropical cyclones. Then it's forecast, if it survives, to move into the Bahamas and be well to the east of Florida here by the weekend. This part of the forecast is uncertain for a lot of reasons. The intensity forecast definitely because of the upper level winds that are forecast to impact over the top of the tropical storm and maybe shear it apart. As well as the track, if it's weaker and it's weaker sooner, it could go farther south and be basically just a remnant low no matter where it is. The bottom line is the three to five day forecast, especially the intensity forecast, uncertain right now. So we're going to want to watch this fairly closely. You notice, and I think it's interesting to point out, that the cone of uncertainty overall for the first three days here is not very large. The Hurricane Center making improvements to the forecast track and even the three to five day out beyond uh, that time frame beyond 72 hours is what I'm trying to say even that cone of uncertainty not quite as large as what we are, are used to seeing uh, for tropical cyclone forecasts so some improvements going on let's take a look at a satellite animation of the tropical storm this morning we'll look at an infrared satellite picture this shows the colors uh, of the cloud tops the brighter oranges and reds the higher the clouds extend into the atmosphere and therefore they are colder which means there is more precipitation or heavier precip falling underneath and you can see a couple of things here first a very well defined curved band feeding into Chantal from the north a pretty decent curved band coming in here from the south and southeast classic wrapped up tropical storm in the deep tropics but you know this is not August 8th, it's not September 8th, it's July the 8th, and this area out here, we usually do not see tropical development this time of year. In fact, 90% of the time over the last 100 years, we don't see development this early, this far east, and I think that's very telling as to what the rest of the season is going to be like. We'll look at that more in just a moment. What is this blow up of clouds right here, you might be wondering? Well, there's an upper level low pressure area in the mid levels of the atmosphere, mid and upper levels of the atmosphere with very cold air and it's spinning uh, over a very warm Atlantic Ocean with a tropical wave probably entrained in there to some extent and therefore you get all this instability, cold air over very warm air that warm air is easy to lift and become very buoyant into that colder air aloft and that's what that is, no tropical cyclone development expected but you can imagine that's probably bringing some inclement weather to the Bahamas and this will continue to rotate uh, westward towards Florida maybe bringing an increase in shower and thunderstorm activity to that area. Now I want to go to my directory of different slides here. Let's take a look. I mentioned how it's unusual to have development this far east this early. Here is the July 1st through the 10th climatology points of origin map and you can see there's only 11 or so areas that developed into a tropical storm or a hurricane in this 10 day time period over the past 100 years. So just simple rounding, you'd say that 10% of the time we would get development this far east this early. 
the rest of the time the other 90 percent or so you don't expect that and this tells me that we're in for a very very busy year and we can look back and see you know i'm not just saying that to get people excited or riled up we can look at evidence 2008 early july we had hurricane bertha form uh, from a tropical wave out here in the eastern atlantic and then in 1996 also hurricane bertha in early july it went on to impact the united states so there is definitely precedence to be set by what we're seeing here with chantal in the deep tropics that normally you do not have development in what we call the main development region out here this early in the season and i do believe that it'll be a harbinger of what's to come for the rest of the year a couple other things to look at with chantal here is a really interesting um, infrared uh, color satellite photograph really showing that banding structure that I was talking about on the loop a very well defined band or arcing of the clouds on the west side a very very well defined band trying to come in from the south side and the east side again your telltale signs of a well defined a tropical cyclone and we can even see the S shape in here very very well in the cloud structure and that is indicating a you know, like I said a defined tropical system and for it to be this early in the year I think is very telling another thing that we like to look at is the vorticity in the atmosphere the amount of spin and even though the University of Wisconsin has a tropical storm symbol over the top of it if you've watched this video over the last couple of days you notice that I've been talking about the vorticity and the roundness of it and you can clearly see that it is much more round in appearance the vorticity area and that means that the energy is being bundled the more round the vorticity is or the area of spin is with storm systems in the tropics the better defined the spin or the circulation is and the more energy is being bundled around a common center <coughs> of low pressure and that's what we're seeing with Chantal and another thing to look at is the moisture content this too the precipitable moisture tells me that you know we're seeing something that's not supposed to be here until august at the very least all of this orange color in here uh <clears throat> it's referred to often as a pouch uh, a pouch of moisture and you know i call it an envelope that just sounds a little bit i think of a pouch i think of a, a kangaroo uh, but it's a nice envelope of moisture associated with this system very high precipitable water in the atmosphere meaning there's a lot of moisture and this is reflected here on the University of Wisconsin analysis again something that we don't normally see this early in the season but there it is now where is Chantal headed check this out this is the GFS 500 millibar uh, forecast over the next five days and I'm gonna zoom the camera in here so we can take a look at what's going on I think you'll find this hopefully very fascinating this is up at about 18 20,000 feet in the atmosphere part of the deep layer steering uh, section of the atmosphere you have 5,000 foot winds um, which is 850 millibars you have your 18 to 20,000 foot winds which is your 500 millibars or so and then your upper, le upper levels way up at 200 millibars at 30 to 40,000 feet and what I like to look for is to see if the tropical system reaches up to the 500 millibar level how high in the atmosphere does the vorticity or the energy stack up and in this case this is valid around uh, right now as I'm doing this update there is the reflection of Chantal right there merely just a bump on the height line in the atmosphere so it shows up just a little bit also notice this height line right here and another tiny one over here this is sort of the top of the mountain if you will the mountain of high pressure that is sitting out over the atlantic the big bermuda high sitting there and that's what is steering chantal along at such a fast clip off to the west chantal being right here it's on the south side of this high pressure area and it's being whisked right along at a fairly brisk rate so let's move along in time to 24 hours this will be valid tonight at about 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Now you see Chantal reflected with a little bit of yellow in there showing more vorticity reaching higher into the atmosphere and you see that it is located to the south of this very stout 
Bermuda High set up over the western Atlantic. Therefore, this will be moving very quickly along towards the Lesser Antilles. Again, going on out into time, 48 hours. This is valid on uh, tomorrow night. And you can see more of the reflection of Chantal in the atmosphere here. But the high pressure starts to weaken just a little bit. You don't see quite as large of an extent of the Bermuda High. So maybe Chantal will start to slow down a little bit as it crosses through the Lesser Antilles. Then at 72 hours, there it is. Uh, in this case, sitting right over Hispaniola. And you notice that that 594 height line in here is gone. The ridge has weakened or eroded just a little bit, and that'll do a couple of things. That'll cause Chantal to slow down, and it'll cause it to gain more latitude. And the reason that is is because there's not quite as much of a mountain of air out here. And so this is kind of like a balloon that wants to rise. That's a simple analogy and it's able to gain that latitude. If we saw a very strong 594 height ridge or height line in here like this, then Chantal would just keep plowing on to the west and on into the Gulf of Mexico. But because that ridge is breaking down just enough, Chantal will gain some latitude over the next few days. Finally, at day four, 96 hours, you see there's a trough now digging in, which really starts to eat away at the ridge of high pressure out over the western Atlantic and Chantal or what's left of it and the GFS showing it here at 500 millibars in the Bahamas really starting to slow down the stream flow not nearly as fast so I think that as it gets into the Bahamas if it's still there as an identifiable tropical storm that it'll start to slow down and it you know hopefully stay away from the United States but it should be well east of Florida but I do believe it'll start to slow down at that time. Finally, at the 120 hour mark, five days out into time, Chantal, where is it? Yeah, maybe somewhere in here, kind of weakened uh, considerably according to the global model here, the GFS. Uh, a little bit of a ridge trying to build back in, maybe trapping it down here. Upper level winds are probably going to be pretty strong out of the west and southwest. So whatever's left of it's going to be sitting around down in the Bahamas or just east of there it looks like by day five but the bottom line we don't have this big giant ridge sitting in here over the five-day forecast track to keep it moving on into the Gulf of Mexico if we had that in place then it would be more of a concern to track into the Gulf instead the ridge is going to weaken and it'll allow Chantal to gain some latitude and start that turn into the Bahamas uh, but it's probably going to weaken due to stronger upper level winds and that's good news so that we don't have to worry about a hurricane or hopefully even a tropical storm impact for the southeast coast this weekend. I'm sure that people would just rather not have to deal with that. So that's the latest on the tropics in the eastern Pacific. Eric, really not much of a concern as it continues to weaken and it'll move to the southwest of the Baja Peninsula with only minimal impacts to that area with some rain bands. Other than that, things are quiet considering that we do have our third tropical storm of the season out <coughs> in the deep tropics. Again, I think that's a sign that we're going to be in for a very, very busy August and September especially. Uh, but first we have to deal with Chantal. Anyway, I will have more for you tomorrow. Again, I am Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com. Always a privilege and an honor to do these videos for you on Hurricane Pro and HD. Have a good rest of your Monday. I'll have more for you tomorrow.